Billionaire Elon Musk is in for another trouble with California, as state legislators have proposed raising the cost of installing and using household solar energy systems. The new policy will limit solar deployment and make it more challenging to attain carbon neutrality. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about IT Happen. The state of California dropped a bomb on Elon Musk unexpectedly. Before we start the video, please like subscribe and press the bell icon. And this is significant to Musk because, if you have yet to hear, Tesla specializes in solar. So, what is motivating California officials to create this new proposal? Let's find out in today's Tesla Fans episode. Hello, Tesla fans. Welcome back to our channel, where we keep you up to date on the newest news about Tesla, Elon Musk, and the world of EVs. In today's video, we'll discuss why solar energy, one of the most sustainable energy sources, is growing more expensive in California and how Musk is fighting back with the aid of Californians and Tesla employees. If you want to learn more, stick with us until the finish of the video. In addition to creating his electric car company, Tesla, Elon Musk is also interested in solar energy. According to the Wall Street Journal, Musk once stated, our goal is not to be a car company. There are many car companies, but an electric car firm and solar and stationary storage are part of a sustainable energy future. Tesla paid $2.66 billion for Solar City in 2016. Musk's cousins, Peter and Lyndon Reeve, launched Solar City in 2006. Musk, who served as chairman of the boards of Tesla and Solar City, supported it. Musk claims that a merger with Solar City would turn Tesla into a one-stop shop for environmentally conscious drivers. He has consistently stated that Solar City is Tesla's missing piece of the puzzle. Tesla already manufactures the power wall and auto chargers. Still, if a consumer wants to use solar energy to power their home in Tesla, they must now lease solar panels from a third-party installer. Musk conducted a splashy event in Hollywood to persuade shareholders to approve this acquisition when he held up a shiny roof shingle that he said was a miniaturized solar panel. At the time, Musk also explained Solar City's new solar roof project, which shocked the whole residential utilities market. According to CNBC, Tesla CEO Elon Musk stated that the goal is to create solar roofs that look better than a standard roof, generate power, stay longer, have superior insulation, and cost less to install than a traditional roof plus electricity. Why would you go anywhere else? On the other hand, Tesla still needs to mass produce and install a significant number of solar roof tiles. The majority of its energy division's growth has come from its energy storage solutions, which range from backup batteries for residences to large batteries for utility-scale projects. Almost all of its home solar revenue originates from standard panel installations. The demand for household and commercial solar energy in the United States is increasing. However, while Elon Musk and Tesla are on the rise with their solar energy products and services, California regulators have recently proposed a new proposal to raise the cost of this sustainable energy source. Musk was enraged when he found out and tweeted, bizarre anti-environmental move by the California government. So, why is solar energy becoming more costly in California? The California Public Utilities Commission is now debating a policy proposal to raise the expense of installing and operating a home solar system. Not only are applications being accepted for new consumers, but there are also over 1.3 million existing residential solar users in the state. According to the entire Mars blog, if the new tax rate is set at $8 per kilowatt hour, it could cost some Tesla solar roof owners as much as $80 a month for a 10 kilowatt system. Elon Musk quickly responded on Twitter, saying that penalizing clean energy is ridiculous. If passed, this would be the highest solar fee in the US, including anti-renewable energy states. This idea will also diminish the value of solar energy bill credits provided to the grid by nearly 80%. Now, let's review precisely how the net energy metering program works. According to the California Public Utilities Commission, Customers that build small solar, wind, biogas, and fuel cell producing facilities to cover all or a portion of their on-site electricity needs are eligible for the state's net energy metering program. 
Net energy metering enables customers who generate their energy or use customer generators to satisfy their energy demands directly on site while receiving a cash credit on their electric bills for any excess power fed back to their utility. The Net Energy Metering 2.0 program, NEM 2.0, was implemented in early 2016. Electricity is charged at varied prices depending on the time of day under this plan. This has an impact on net energy metering. The credit for energy sold to the grid has a variable value based on the time of usage rate. This means that to receive the most net metering credits, consumers must sell the most energy to the grid during peak demand times. However, in compliance with the new NEM standards, California officials are imposing a charge on the usage of solar energy, dubbed NEM 3.0. The California Public Utilities Commission believes the proposal, dubbed NEM 3.0, will help the state meet its groundbreaking clean energy goals. It is intended to encourage consumers to install battery storage systems alongside solar panels, allowing them to store excess solar power and feed it back into the grid when it is most needed. The new rules will also apply to customers who have already signed contracts and purchased solar systems, which goes against basic fairness standards. Customers who installed solar under the Net Energy Metering 1.0 and 2.0 rules, which were guaranteed to be in place for 20 years when customers enrolled, would have their grandfathering period reduced to 15 years from the date their system was installed, after which they would transition to NEM 3.0. Tesla had supported earlier NEM changes that helped the environment. However, the corporation rejects the Commission's Net Energy Metering proposal for the following reasons. For starters, it will be unfair to solar energy customers. Second, the new policy will restrict customer adoption of clean energy in California at a time when the state's climate goals require more. This begs the question of how Elon Musk will respond to the California government's latest plan, the state government of California. A new campaign on Tesla's engaged platform asks Tesla owners to help push California Governor Gavin Newsom to reject the proposed solar tax and retroactive adjustments to existing solar customers. Support distributed solar and storage in California by making your voice heard, according to Tesla's call to action on Tesla's website. Please email the Public Utilities Commission today and urge them to reject the solar tax and modifications to the grandfathering requirements. Tesla also included many options for everyone to get involved in the campaign against adopting the new solar energy policy. It's available on Tesla's Engage platform. Finally, in your opinion, can Musk succeed in his campaign to persuade Californians and Tesla employees to oppose this new solar energy proposition? Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.